Hey everyone, Sinza here, and welcome back to another Pokemon Sword and Shield video. So, the new season finally started, so I am doing ranked battles on the actual game instead of Showdown. So, this is the first team that I use on Showdown. It's a little bit different, but uh, after doing a lot of Showdown matches, uh, I decided to go with this team first. Now, there's another team that I did create on Showdown, but I can't, I don't have it ready in game yet. But this one's working pretty well. I've done some matches already. I'm just going to briefly go over the purpose. Articuno is there as the main sweeper basically with competitive and weakness policy and with, you know, Landorus being so common and Incineroar and all that. Intimidates can come out a lot or at the very least um, kind of dissuade people from using those Intimidates. And then I have Dustclops there to proc the weakness policy with Shadow Sneak. And most of the time, that works pretty well. Because I lead with Dusclops and Articuno, Shadow Sneak my Articuno. Now sometimes you can't, you know, sometimes there's like Psychic Surge from Ndidi or Tapu Lele or something so that I can't um, Shadow Sneak. But if they're only relying on like Fake Out, for instance, I can just Dynamax Articuno, turn one, Shadow Sneak. If I can't do Shadow Sneak, then Ally Switch really comes in, in handy. And Trick Room also, if if they're a little bit faster than me, I can actually just use Trick Room instead, even if I'm going to use Airstream. Um, so there, there's some there's some stuff that you can go in with that. And then Will-O-Wisp was there. Uh, I, I did have uh, Nightshade, but I think Will-O-Wisp was more important because lowering those attacks of enemies is definitely a lot stronger than the what the nightshade would do and sometimes you just don't want to intimidate people like defiant users like zapdos so having that will-o-wisp is helpful for situations and Landorus is there of course for the uh you know intimidate it's got scarf so it's gonna usually be able to go first except for like really fast pokemon or if there's tailwind up and i really like the move set i actually do want to try instead of fly i want to try superpower because I think having just a really strong fighting move, because I don't have a strong fighting move, or um, oh, I do have, well, I do have a fire move, but I don't have a strong fighting move, so I think that would really help. Um, I also don't have any water, so I might try that out. But overall, it's good. Earthquake and fly for the stab. Rock slide is always good, and you know there's a lot of Pokemon that are weak to that, and then U-turn to get in, to get in and out for intimidates if needed. Rillaboom is there for mostly to change the terrain, be able to fake out if needed, knock off. Literally every one of his attacks is just very useful. Grassy Glide is great because Rillaboom can hit pretty hard, actually. Um, it's full, uh, full attack, full HP, I believe. So, um, fake out, and if I can't fake out, it, it usually can put Grassy Glide or Grassy Terrain on. Um, knockoff has been super helpful, knocking off other Dusclops, Eviolites, or Rika's policies and other stuff like that, and Snarl, as long as you're not going against, like, you know, competitive Pokemon or Defiant Pokemon, Snarl has really helped. It, I, I actually won a game simply by using Snarl to lower their special attack to where they couldn't do much. And then for my last two, I have Togekiss. Togekiss was just an all-around great Pokemon, and actually my last two matches, it was my MVP. To follow me, save the game. I let my Articuno survive and take out uh, a, a Glacier. The Ice Horse, I can't, I, I, don't, I don't remember how you pronounce it, but yeah, that Ice Horse is the main problem with, you know, four of my Pokemon being weak to its Ice Attacks and then Metagross being weak to its Ground Attacks. It is an issue. Um, but Togekiss helps with the follow me, because if it Dynamaxes, then, you know, it has to use single target attacks. And of course, just the standard Super Lux Scope Lens, so it can crit. It's got Dazzling Gleam for Spread and Stab, Air Slash for Stab, and then Heat Wave for Pokemon like Glacier, you know, like uh, Kartana, those Grass and Steel types, uh, Ferrothorn, stuff like that. It's just really uh, a helpful Pokemon, and it was the last one that I actually added to the team. And I wasn't sure how it would go, but it's it's been really helpful so far. And then finally, Metagross because Metagross is just really good. Um, really hits hard, giving a life orb, meteor mash. Um, I could give it. I think it can learn Iron Head. Um, I might try that out. 
meter mash has like a 95 accuracy or something like that it's not 100 percent so it's it's kind of scary but it hits harder um protect ice punch for you know taking out people like landorus uh, the other birds uh, uh, you know ice is very strong in the current meta and then i'm trying out psycho cut it hits a little bit uh it's it's a little bit weaker than Zen head, but but most of the time Metagross is not going first, so even you know so you don't get that flinch thing. And Psycho Cut has a high crit ratio, so you know even though it's a little bit lower, it might crit more often to make up for that. So and then of course the the ID is here if you want to try this team out. So let's go ahead and get a couple of battles in. I am not in master ball tier yet i am climbing my way up to master ball tier i'm currently in great ball tier um, but i'm almost at ultra ball if i can win one more then i'll get to ultra ball tier if i can win about a total of about three i think if i win three or four matches in a row then i'll be at master ball tier so I'd really like to get the Master Ball tier with this team before working on other teams, but yeah. I had a couple losses. Two, both of those losses were just, I just, they, there were things that I was expecting and then the opponent did something else completely. Another trick team, you're gonna see a lot of these trick teams. Uh, Glacier is just so strong and Trick Room is just, you know, Trick Room teams are just strong in general. Um, so almost, Certainly, they're going to lead with NDD Dust Clubs. Now, they could lead as well with like NDD Charizard um, or NDD uh, Metagross. But I'm going to assume they're going to try to go for Trick Room. But considering the way my team is, they don't really need it because they get Ally Switch or Follow Me. So the the, the big thing here is Glacier. Charizard is a threat, but Glacier is much bigger threat. So I think I'm going to lead with Landorus to try and get some, uh, you know, get an Intimidate out. And then I can always U-turn. Um, probably Spread with Togekiss wouldn't be bad. Um, I c now I can lead with Dusclops. Um, actually, you know what? I am going to do that. I'm going to I'm going to lead with Articuno and Dusclops. Because if they do lead and I can't, I can always ally switch and then bring in Landorus. Um, yeah, and then I think for my last Pokemon, I want to bring Rillaboom. Uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and bring Rillaboom, so hopefully I got that in time. I was kind of debating between like Rillaboom and Togekiss, but yeah, Metagross is, is tough too. Like Glacier is, uh, Glacier is what I'm most worried about, but you know, a Dynamax Metagross is no joke, especially if it has a weakness policy on it. Um, I could potentially change this team as well to just literally put the life orb. So yeah, this is going to be interesting, actually. I was not expecting this. So I feel like this is going to be a Dynamax Charizard. Ah, I missed it. Um, so for the most part, I think I'm safe to Dynamax. I want to take out the Metagross, but Charizard is tough, but I don't think it has anything in particular that can really threaten Articuno greatly. Metagross is the one that I'm worried about, and I can't lower its defenses. Um, so what I'm going to do... I'm going to assume the Charizard is going to use something like Heat Wave or and the Metagross might Dynamax. So I'm actually going to max Airstream. Oh god, I, I messed up. Uh, I meant to... So I got I, I got my Dynamax out. I, I meant to ally switch and then the Trick Room came up. I didn't select it though. So sadly just in that one turn I'm, I might have uh, might have messed up because I there were two things I need one of two things I needed to do either shadow sneak now luckily okay luckily the Charizard decided to air slash my dust clubs um, I'm gonna assume I actually don't know what the Metagross is gonna do 
but I was expecting the Metagross to Dynamax, so it's not so bad. But I, I should have either Ally Switched or Shadow Sneaked. So let's see what happens here. Oh, he used Rock Slide, okay. And he missed the Articuno, so. Sadly, Dust Clops. Uh, I actually don't know what he would have done. So I'm actually kind of okay with that. And considering the Pokemon that are left, I don't actually need the Airstream anymore. So... I'm thinking I just go ahead and try and take the Metagross out. Yeah, I think I would have Will-O-Wisped. Will-O-Wisp wouldn't have been bad. So I'm going to go ahead and... Now here's the thing. I'm going to do it anyway. But they could bring in Ndidi. If they bring in Ndidi, then that will ruin my Shadow Sneak plan. Yep. I bet you Ndidi comes in. Oh, wait. What is that? Serval. Yep. Ndidi. So sadly... That stops my Shadow Sneak plan. It's almost like they knew what was gonna happen. So... Oh, it still worked. Okay. I guess... I guess if it's done before... Or maybe it's only against enemies. Um... Yeah. I, I don't... I don't exactly know how that stuff works when it comes to... You know... <laughs> Either way, I got the Shadow Sneak off. That was, that was what's important. So, it's okay. And we know they have Charizard, so we just gotta figure out what the last Pokemon is. And I'm in a pretty good spot, because I have my... Um, okay, so this is... Yeah, Glacier. So Glacier 100% is going to Dynamax. Which is fine. Because what I'm going to do is... Airstream. Now the problem is this. Um, actually, you know what? I might max guard. No, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Let's see here. This will lower their defense. And who do I have in the back? I did choose my Pokemon. Right? Okay, so I'm actually going to use. Oh, I can't use that. He's gonna probably just follow me. Okay, so what I'm gonna do? They're not gonna have Trick Room. So what I'm gonna do is go for the Airstream and an ally switch before I run out of time. Because he's, yeah, he's Dynamaxing. Oh, wow. He caught that with a Beast Ball? That must have took a lot of uh, resetting. But either, anyway, um, hopefully the ally switch saves me here. And he's probably going to just follow me, so, you know, it's going to be like... <sighs> yeah. I, and I'm sure it has a focus sash, so it's sadly that's a turn wasted, but I might, s it, you know, if they don't expect the LS switch, then it means that I can survive for another turn. Now sadly, Articuno doesn't have a spread move, but it means that... I, if if Dusclops gets hit and survives, then I might be able to use a Will-O-Wisp. I don't know if he's gonna survive that. Okay, good. And he's yeah, I, I'm pretty sure he still survives the ice. So that worked out. A well-placed ally switch is always good. Oh, and this right, the ice killed him. That's the thing that people don't um, really think about sometimes is when you use stuff like sandstorm or ice and you have a you know a focus sash pokemon out there well now they are uh they're gonna get knocked out so charizard is a threat and charizard is a threat to both my remaining pokemon but it's hard to say actually no charizard's not that big of a threat to landorus so i think that I am going to go ahead and attack. I'm going to try and Will-O-Wisp, but I don't think my Dust Club is actually going to survive. Because if I can, but if I could burn the, if I can burn the Glacier, then I'm in a very good spot. Um, yeah, I think actually what I'm going to do is go for the Glacier. Hope it doesn't max guard. 
Okay, Charizard protected. Perfect. That was perfect. Unless he decides to max guard. Okay, good. So I, I made the right choice. I was thinking of, of attacking Charizard. So I was able to put some good damage on the Glacier and I burned it to lower its attack. Now it's still going to knock out any person that it attacks. But, although maybe not. Okay, yeah, no, he's, he's still too strong. <laughs> um, but that's okay. Because he's burnt now. Now, sure, the attack is lower, but I ha this is why I, I brought Landorus. So I'm in a very good spot because, yep, yeah, perfect. Because Dusclop survives, so that means I can bring in Landorus, right? I can lower the Glacier's attack, and I'm going to U-turn out of here because that'll get me a second U-turn out because my, uh, I mean a second Intimidate out because my Dusclop is going to get knocked out. And, yeah next turn I'll be able to bring him back and my Landorus is with the scarf is most likely faster now I still can't sadly I can't do anything because it's still psychic terrain so really the only thing I can do is ally switch which is what I'm gonna do it's funny because this like in this particular situation I just don't have a choice um I am going to attack the Charizard though, because the Charizard is still a threat. It's not Dynamax, but it's still a threat. And it's not going to do that much damage, but I still need to get some damage out on it. Because I'm actually not that worried, because there's no Trick Room, I'm not that worried about the, uh, the Glacier. Um, now I don't, I really doubt, they could have anticipated the ally switch and then went for this slot, which means my Rillaboom would be really hurt, sadly. But, uh, yeah, we'll see. Either way, his turn will be over. There's the heat wave. Yeah, so, sadly, um, it didn't matter. Uh, that was smart. That was smart because the heat wave would have taken him out, and so it wouldn't have mattered if we switched. So my poor Rillaboom got knocked out anyway. However, it's not over yet. It all depends on my accuracy of Rock Slide because this glacier is really rough right now, like really tough. Um, and I don't. The problem is I don't know how much damage it's going to do. And sadly, yes, even though I got the Intimidates off, it only pretty much got his attack back down to normal. Um, actually, I think it's plus one is what it said. Because it, pl it had two attack boosts. Or, no, it might be it might be at zero. Because it didn't use my... It had two... I think it only had two attack boosts. Yeah, so it's it's neutral. And it's burned. So I'm in a, I'm in a good spot. And... It all depends on if I hit both Pokemon with this Rock Slide. It's a 90% accuracy, so this is literally the game right here. Do I hit both the Pokemon with it? Uh, I don't think Glacier will get knocked out by it, but... Okay, I hit both Pokemon with it. Yeah, it took Charizard out. Um, but I'm hoping that the burn... Oh... Well... I think that's it. I got really close, but unless Glacier flinches, yep, that's it. Oh, but he missed the icicle crash. Oh man. Okay, this is it. Because I don't have, you know, because I have Choice Scarf on. This is crazy. This came down to the le now. This is literally the last turn. Well, maybe not, because if icicle crash misses again, it all depends. Do I hit with the rock slide? If I do, I win. Whew. Every time that be that beginning delay is like, is he gonna hit? So I got really close. It just it shows just how strong Glacier is, you know, and just how adaptable the team is. Now it also did show like even with that burn, you saw how strong Glacier is. When it's Dynamax, it still hurts. And I, I had to do those intimidates just to get it down, and I still would have probably lost. Because, yes, it was back down to zero, but it wasn't negative. I mean, yeah, the burn was on, but that was a 4x weakness that I had to the ice. 
Um, so I probably still would have lost. Okay, one more match. I probably still would have gotten one hit KO'd. Even if I didn't, um, I probably would have been close enough to where the ice would have killed me. And if he had protect, which I don't know if he did, then that could have, uh, yeah. Even though the, the ice knocked out his Ndidi, the ice would have also knocked me out. So it all, all got lucky that he missed that move when you're not using 100% accuracy moves. But it, it, it got it got really it got really close because I could have missed the rock slide either of them, and the glacier just it was it all just came down to RNG at the end. But I I think I, I think I played it pretty well up until that point, for the most part. All right, now we're in Ultra Ball tier. I think I might get Master Ball if I win this. This team looks interesting. Yeah, Tornadoes for the. Interesting. A, a hmm. Or beetle. So nine tails for the sun. I don't really know what this is. I'm gonna be honest. This is an interesting team. I'm not. Thunderous is tough. Like legit. So I'm gonna go ahead and go Ar Articuno Dusclops because they could leave a Tornadus Thunderous. I don't actually know if Thunderous would Dynamax or not, but they are definitely hard. And I'm gonna have Landorus because they do lead with Tornadus and Landorus or Tornadus and Thunderous. I might need to switch. Um, but I'm I am worried about the Metagross and potentially the Orb Beetle. They could do Orb Beetle, G Max, and then Hypnosis with Melodic. Um. I think overall Rillaboom in that last slot is the best. Because the Melodic... You know, this is... I don't know of all the synergy of this team, but potentially it's a good team. Because all these Pokemon are all good threats, whether they're in Dynamax or not. Like a Dynamax Orbito can set up Gravity. Okay, so Tornadus in Orbito. So I think what's going to happen here is... They're gonna Dynamax the Orb Beetle to do the the gravity. Um, okay, Tornadus has the Sesh, and Orb Beetle has the weakness policy. So what I'm gonna do is not attack Orb Beetle uh, because a Dynamax Orb Beetle is really strong. <laughs> um, although, man, a Dynamax Orb Beetle, man, that's rough. That's just really rough. I don't actually know if the Orb Beetle has, I mean, it might have Shadow Ball, but I don't know. We'll have to find out. I don't actually think that the Orb Beetle can one-shot my Articuno. I, I don't think there's, I don't think there's any way that the Orb Beetle done, um, one-shots. One thing I forgot to look up is if Articuno weak to bug attacks. That's the one thing I do not know. Because I, I know that Psychic is weak to Bug, but I don't know if Flying is resistant to Bug or not. I know Flying is strong against Bug. So I'm going to have to check that real quick. It might be... I'll be taunted. Huh. Interesting. I guess he thought that I was going to ally switch. Wasn't a bad choice there, but he didn't Dynamax the Orbito, so I don't actually know what he's going to do. Maybe he's just going to try and go for Hypnosis or something. Um, either way, I mean, if he goes for Hypnosis on my Articuno, that will be a problem if I actually get put to sleep. Okay, he went for Imprison. That's crazy. I think he, know, I think he learned Trick Room. Um, either way, he taunted me, so I can't do anything anyway. But that's fine, because I'm going to go for the Orb Beetle. Because now, I shouldn't have no trouble taking out the Orb Beetle. I mean, if it Dynamax... Okay, yeah, he's just going just gonna to go straight up and Dynamax it. Alright, let's look here. Okay, yeah. Perfect. It's not weak to Bug. It's weak to Dark and Ghost, of, of course. Um, so, yeah. And I'm going to assume that the Orb Beetle is going to want to set up Gravity. We'll have to see. I have my 
Yeah, I don't know. Oh, he didn't use Tailwind. Oh, duh, he used Taunt. Okay, that's fine. So I can take out the Tornadus. This is not looking too bad. It's not looking too bad. Because I already have a plus one. And... Yeah, perfect. Took out the Orbito. Yeah, see, w because of because of getting my weakness policy procced, yeah, I don't know if it would, it, you know, it may not have knocked him out. Wow, yeah, and then just straight up quit. They rage quit. <laughs> That's what happens when, uh, you know, if if you can get that, if you can get that Orbito or not Orbito, if you can get that Articuno, Dust Clops lead. And survive that first round after procking your weakness policy and airstream. Like it's just sweep. It's just sweep. It's so good. It it can be countered. You know, there's multiple ways to get countered, but you know, if you can set it up, you can sweep really well. So, um, I'll I'll still go ahead and end it here. I'll still go ahead and end it here. It was only one battle and part of one, but you you got to see you know how strong it was. And my next battle should get me to Master Ball tier. But that's it for this video. I will be doing another one, at least, um, on this team for sure. Because I only got one battle in. So I'll do another one with this team for sure. And I will hopefully do another one at some point with another team. But I have to. I still have to build a team. It's going to involve Moltres and Comfy. And yeah, it's pretty, it's fr pretty fun stuff. So if you liked the video, please give a like, subscribe for future videos, and as always, thanks for watching.